Okay, so now that we are all set up with NinjaTrader, we need to get live data feeds in order to get the proper information we need for our charts. So we need to get, depending on what you're trading, we need to get futures data and Forex data. Now, we recommend CQG for futures data. You can click right here to sign up for CQG. Now, if you're going to be trading live futures and you want to use CQG to trade live futures, just scroll down to the bottom of this page here. You can get in touch with uh, Justin Ellis. He's our rep here. He can get you set up with a live account, and you can get that account funded and trade live futures through AMP. Okay. Now, a couple things here. This can get a little confusing. If you're going to use AMP to trade live futures, AMP is going to give you a license key for NinjaTrader. Okay, we've already got NinjaTrader downloaded. We have not inserted a license key just yet. If you want to trade live futures through AMP and you open and fund an account, they will give you a license key for Ninja. And you will need to use that key, that license key for NinjaTrader if you're going to trade live through them. Okay, now also if you're wanting to trade live, uh, if you want to trade actual Forex, uh, that would be one of the next steps here, and there's more videos, but we show you a couple of different ways to get Forex um, data as well. Our preferred choice vendor there is IQ Feed. There's uh, more information and videos on this coming up here on the next step. IQ Feed will give you a couple weeks free trial, and then they'll charge you a monthly fee. Or another option is fxcm fxcm will give you multiple free trials you can keep renewing your trials through them or you can open up an account with fxcm uh, you can fund an account with five thousand dollars they'll give you a dual key which you can use to trade futures or forex or for a little bit less than that you can fund an account with them um, to just trade forex through them and still use cqg to trade your futures okay so I know that can be a little confusing but if you want if you're just doing Nadex trading we'll get to that in just a second but if you want to trade uh, Forex through FXCM you can contact them through the sign up sheet or the sign up link here and open an account all right and that in that case you will need to use the Ninja, Ninja Trader key that they give you that will allow you to trade both or if you're just going to be trading um, futures, you would need to use the, and you're, if you're going to trade futures and you're going to sign up and open an account with CQG, you would need to use the uh, license key for Ninja that they give you so that it connects with, through them with your account. Okay, so if you're just going to be trading Nadex, though, um, you can sign up for a three-week free trial with CQG and every three weeks you can renew that alright so you get actual live um, futures data from CQG all you need to do is just fill out right here first and last name country phone and email address and they will send you an email with uh, a username and password so once you fill this out it could take 10 or 15 minutes for that uh, email to come in to you. So let's say for example you're only going to be trading Nadex. So again the first thing you want to do while we're waiting on the other password is you want to go to your email and you should have received from NinjaTrader okay from NinjaTrader you would have gotten a license key and that license key will start with SIM right here okay. Um, if you get a another key from AMP or FXCM it will show different but for trading Nadex you want to use the actual license key that you got from NinjaTrader they should have emailed that to you so go ahead and let's copy and paste that we'll open up our NinjaTrader here what you want to do is right here go to help and right here license key okay and we can uh, well it looks like that one already is in there from when we downloaded earlier they just emailed a, us a copy of it as well okay otherwise you can just copy and paste it right there alright so for just for using Nadex 
trading on Nadex, you want to make sure you're using the Ninja license key. All right. And then from there, once you receive your um, emails from AMP, from CQG, again, we just signed up there and we signed up to get free data. Now, again, keep in mind, you're going to get a couple of emails from them. One email from them is going to have another license key for Ninja right here. And it's going to start with AMP. It's not going to start with SIM. You do not want to use the Ninja license key from AMP for just trading Nadex. You want to use the one that you got from Ninja, key, Ninja Trader directly. Okay, you'll also get a second email from AMP at CQG giving you your username and password. So what you want to do is just right here, go ahead and copy your username. We're going to go back into Ninja Trader. We're going to go to Tools. We're going to go to Account Connections. And right there you'll see AMP. You want to add that. Go next, and just go ahead and name that as AMP, and scroll down here, and select CQG, and historical data enabled. Now, this is a very big key here that can cause a lot of issues if you don't do it properly. Right here, connect on startup. Do not ever select that. Okay, you'll want to manually connect. Do not ever select connect on startup or that will cause some major issues for you down the road that we will get into so leave that blank do not select that you'll click next uh, oh let's see here. I think I already have a connection on here yes I already had a connection from before so we'll just do amp go CQG Enable that. Again, do not put connect on startup. And then right here, you will co copy in the username. And then go back to your email here. And copy the password that they send you. And we'll put that right here. Then you should select demo mode. Hit next. And finish. And OK. And what that will do is give you AMP in here. Okay. Now, when you go through the other steps of setting up IQ feed or setting up FXCM, you'll basically do the same thing. You won't see them in here. I have them already. You'll just click Add and go through those steps. And the biggest key is to make sure that you do not select Connect uh, automatically. You do not want to automatically connect. What you will do from here forward when you open up Ninja Trader, you'll go to Tools. Um, I'm sorry, you go to uh, connect AMP and you put it right here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I just copied and pasted the uh, user and password wrong, but once you have that done, you just go right here to file, connect, and connect to AMP. And you'll see down here on the bottom that it's connecting. It'll take just a couple seconds to connect and then it will beep for you and light up green showing you that you're all connected okay then after you go through the next steps and you activate um, FX data again you never want to automatically connect to anything you want Ninja Trader to open up with no connections you want to go in manually and always connect always always connect to futures first always connect to CQG first then if you're also wanting to connect to your uh, FX feeds after that, then you would go down and then connect to IQ feed or FXCM, whichever one you have. But it can cause a lot of issues and you want to make sure you never automatically connect, but then when you manu manually connect, you always connect to AMP first, like you see here, and then go back in and connect to your Forex data from there. Okay, so now if you move on to the next video, it will show you how to get uh, FX data all set up and you'll be good to go.